Well, growing up, uh, you know, we we uh, were big kids. Me and my brother, we were we were big. We uh, we come from a family of big big people, and uh, we we excelled in ath in athletics because our family they wouldn't have been able to sent us off to college, you know, being as poor as we was. But we were able to earn scholarships. At that point, I began to get exposed to a lot different lifestyle. So I got exposed to the drug game. That started my downhill spiral, man. And, uh, it took me on a ride that I really didn't want, you know. 17 years of prison, I went back to selling drugs. Um, but one day, I'm just riding home. Next thing I know, I look in my rearview mirror and it's a bunch of F-150 trucks behind me with blue lights in the grill. And I just, I knew then, I said, God is arresting me. So when I walk in the courtroom, the judge said, Mr. B, you don't remember me, do you? I said, no, ma'am. She said, we went to college together. She said, I tell you what, Mr. B, she said, uh, I'm gonna order you to do a program when you get to prison. It's called the Jericho Project. And uh, I've completed the program in five months. And my lawyer took me back before she suspended my sentence. She said, but she said, but that's not it. She said, I got, I got more for you. She said, I'm ordering you to do a program on the street called the Men of Valor. So here, God has reestablished me. He's allowed me to come in here and to be ministered to and given gems and nuggets. And it is helping us to see where we have fallen short as men, but at the same time how we can get back what we've lost.